All right, so you just, we are back. We just got out of the the theater. Well, we just had to dr drop off Orion. You couldn't stay with us, unfortunately. Well, we got out of the theater and we dropped off Orion, and we're now in the we're in the parking lot in front of a Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer to have done this in front of the theater, but whatever. Yeah. All right, so we just saw Civil War. Yay! I'm I had glad. so much fun. Yeah, this is a this is a great movie. I had, I mean, I was smiling throughout, like, for the first part, it was like, yeah, I've seen this, I saw it in the trailer, you know, let's keep going, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, yeah. You know, but as soon as we got to, like, I'm going to just spoil it right now, but as soon as we got to Spider-Man, I just okay, kept smiling okay. throughout the whole movie. Okay, spoilers for, for anyone who doesn't know this. Well, this is, of course, really spoilers. Uh, but yeah, as soon as uh, Spider-Man came up, I was so happy. I just kept smiling throughout the whole movie. I will say, though. I got a little, like, emotional near the end. Yeah. Because that actually did impact me a lot. Like, wow, I did not see that coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically, well, I don't think we should say the entire plot of this thing. Oh, uh, let's, let's start from the beginning. Um, oh, God, there's so much. Yeah. The Avengers, which, not really, it's just Captain America, Black Widow, uh, Scarlet Witch, and... There's still the Avengers. It's, just, it's a majority of them here. And Falcon are on a mission <laughs> in... I don't even know where they are. But they're on a mission because... No, they, I think they were in Africa somewhere. Somewhere in Africa. Somewhere in Africa. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're somewhere out on a mission. And, uh, because they hear... I think they have information on crossbones. You know, going out and doing something. some Pulling, pulling off some kind of mission for someone. Yeah. And they go after him. And it leads to uh, Scarlet Witch accidentally blowing up a building with people inside. Uh, a peace group of Wakandans. Mm-hmm. And that leads to, of course, the news going around saying the Avengers are causing all this destruction. Yeah. No one's, you know, owning up to it. No one's owning up to it. And the government decides, like, well, shit, now we got to come in and restrict your freedoms. Captain America doesn't like that. Iron Man does agree agrees with them because he was guilt-tripped uh, earlier on. Granted, that was kind of, well, it's a bit different in the comics, obviously, but I like, the, I like yeah. the way they did it in this movie. Yeah, I can say, I can say like... Uh, so many times I've seen this before, like, uh, you know, they guilt trip someone. It's just like, you know, I'm blaming you. Yeah. You know, who's going to avenge my son and all that. Yeah, yeah. Tony, I remember that scene where Tony was getting guilt tripped by this one mom. She says, I, I, don't, I don't blame her. Of uh, course, yeah. she's hurt. And yeah. She wants to blame someone. She can't blame Ultron because yeah. he's dead. Yeah. And even if she was alive, I doubt the mom would be dumb enough to go up to him and like, you, you pay for my son's death right now. <laughs> to kill her. yeah, kill her. <laughs> but I mean, like, I've seen this so much before, but I still get so mad. It's like, I'm yeah, like, I mean, woman, we're trying our best here. We're not you know? gods, okay? You know, we're you know we're we're just guys you know, with shiny weapons, like really shiny weapons. I mean, Captain America's shield, Iron Man's suit. You know, they're all very super shiny. Even yeah. Vision is really shiny. Well, Vision is like a freaking artificial being, so I can. With understand. his powers, he almost seems like a god. Well, he's pretty much the um, he's pretty much their Superman. Well, not but not really, but not. Re I I saw him more as Martian Manhunter. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's a better comparison. He's he's their Martian Manhunter. Yeah, because you know this tell you know phasing through objects. Yeah. Kind of flying and the mind beam. The only thing he doesn't have is telepathy. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, uh, Vision? I don't think he has telepathy. Does he at least have techno technopathy? Technopathy? Te techno technopathy? Like, yeah, control technopathy. over to like, control at least like technology? Not control exactly, but I mean, like, kind of, like, read technology? Um, I don't know. I would have to go into, like, a freaking... Yeah. Are you talking about in terms of the movie or just terms of terms his character? In terms of his character in general. I don't know. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know too much about Vision other than the fact that he can actually, like fight up with like some he's actually one of Marvel's most powerful like beings I think yeah he is yeah and so is Scarlet Witch yeah Scarlet Witch well, well Scarlet Witch's powers while she is the most powerful I always felt like she her powers were like never really clearly stated it was defined. just like yeah I think I think uh, even though she's technically a mutant in the comics they kind of almost define her power as magic in it, some iterations not in here though but, not but, here though in this art uh, of our, uh, our, uh, our science Science. I think in House of M, which uh, I, which is the, the comic where she um, changed reality. 
or something. I don't know whether they said it was magic or it was just a result of mutant powers. It has to be some sort of magic too, because I don't. You can't control. You can't just change reality from simple like mutant. Well, mutant. it didn't. Se- it didn't seem like she was able to change reality in here. But then again, remember, Vision said, "Uh, you still. Uh, I'm trying to understand the mind gem. You have to understand your powers. Yeah. So maybe she's capable of more. She just doesn't know it. But it yeah. seemed like she was able to manipulate like energy. And use energy to grab stuff. Yeah, she she does it like several times in this movie and owns some uh, some people yeah. too. Actually, I think if you remember in X Men Evolution, her powers were equivalent to Jinx. Jinx from uh, Teen Titans. Yeah. Yeah. Like just, just like bad luck is going on. Like uh, stuff just happens. It's like she wasn't really aiming to move that pipe and throw water. She just happened with stomping yeah, around. Yeah, I think her powers were uncontrollable. That's why Magneto actually sealed her up in. Um, and uh, like an um, yeah. asylum or something. Yeah. But anyway, um, you know, so that leads to you know a lot of conflict, especially now that you know Captain America, America. Uh, finds his his friend again, Bucky. Yeah. Uh, and Bucky at this point is remembered of most of um his memories, I guess. Yeah, he has. He's just trying to run away, just trying to hide himself. Yeah. And of course, uh, the, uh he was framed apparently for the death. Of the uh, Black Panther's dad. Father, I, I don't remember his name. T'Challa. T'Challa. No, T'Challa is his name. I'm talking about his dad's name. Because, it, it, I, I don't know. It's, I clearly it's, heard T'Challa somewhere in there. No, well, T'Challa is his name. It uh. can't it can't be, it wouldn't be his name. Uh, well, then, uh. then again, I'm, I'm going to watch this movie multiple times. Yeah, so. I need to, I need, I need to watch it multiple times, but... And I don't mind watching multiple yeah, times. I, don't, I, I had don't, a lot of fun. I don't actually mind watching this movie multiple times. I get, I, I, I got, I got the gist of the plot from this first, but I, uh, this is this movie is pretty enjoyable. But I found it funny because like uh, <laughs> in the trailer they make it seem like Black Panther keeps going after Bucky, and everyone just like Jesus Christ, what does he do? <laughs> like what did he do to you, Black Panther? Why do you keep going after him? And, and, after watching this, it's like, yeah, oh, he killed your dad. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm kind of with you now, Black Panther. <laughs> You know, it's it's kind of hard because on one level I'm on Captain America's side, but, but at the same time Iron I Man understand Black like Panther's uh, motive, so I agree with him. And then Spider Man decides to join uh, Team Iron Man, just like, damn it, Spider Man, you're my favorite superhero, so I have to go with you. Well, the way it was kind of portrayed, it feels like Tony had his eye on um, on Peter for a while. Yeah, uh, Peter Parker in this is amazing. Yeah, the first time we're introduced uh... to him. I wasn't going for the fun, <laughs> but apparently I went for it. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. Peter Parker in this, uh, I love the way he introduced him. You know, he's just like, you know, he's been Spider-Man for six months, or he's at least had the powers for six months. Six months, yes. Yeah, so you can Whether assume... he was fighting crime or, like, saving people for six months is up in the air. No, they she saw the video. He was, he was grabbing, like, a carjacker, and he stopped the car from hitting yeah. the bus. I do like how his costume <laughs> before. The, oh yeah, the it was just fire. goggles and just kind of just like like uh, you can see like be- maybe bed sheets. I think it's kind of a reference to uh, the whole Spider Man Nor look because um the yeah, goggles. Yeah, the goggles. Yeah, I guess the goggles. Uh, yeah. But that's the only um, reference to Nor because Nor had like these uh these like really like sweaty looking the sweater looking sleeves and uh, just a jacket. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, so I definitely like Spider Man in this. There's actually a lot more of him in this than I thought there would be. Yeah, because uh, when, when, when people told me there's more Sp- Spider Man in this, I'm thinking, like, okay, so maybe just the airport scene is that much longer. Yeah. Like, no, we see him as Peter Parker. Just normal Peter Parker. Yeah. Awkward, nerdy, but, you know, you know, kind of sweet at the same time. Yeah. Because I look at this Spider Man, and don't get, me, don't get me wrong, I love Andrew Garfield because he was a great Spider Man. But I look at this uh, Tom Holland as Spider Man, and I see him as Peter Parker at the same time. Like, this is Peter Parker. He's yeah. awkward as hell. He talks a lot just to you know, to kind of di- divert attention away from himself. Because yeah. you can tell it's just like I got myself in an awkward situation. Yeah. I gotta say something funny to you know make myself feel yeah. better. Uh, an Andrew Garfield um, situation. Um, I liked him as Spider Man too, but like, I liked him as Spider Man, but his Peter Parker always felt off to me. I like, think because I, I mentioned like even when he's just Peter Parker, yeah, even he when still he's just, seems kind of cool guy. Yeah, 
You know, just like I can hang out with him. He's skating around. This, and... this Peter Parker is collecting garbage from freaking. <laughs> He's collecting garbage. <laughs> He's just dumpster diving. This is like, ooh, I found a computer from the 1940s. I wonder if he does that in costume. <laughs> like, just choo. <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of funny. Just like, <laughs> Jane Jonah Jameson, I want pictures of that Spider Man. I found him in the dumpster outside the Daily Bugle. <laughs> <laughs> He's collecting newspapers for He's some reason. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but apparently, and that's he why Joe Jonah, Jay Jonah Jameson doesn't like Spider Man very much. <laughs> he stole. He stole his trash. Yeah. <laughs> One man's trash, another man's treasure. Yeah. Like, no, Spider Man, that's my trash. And then he just writes about him in the paper. He's a menace to society. <laughs> he steals from your trash cans. <laughs> yeah, get, exactly. Get the raccoon man. <laughs> get the raccoon. Get Rocket Raccoon. Rac over raccoon. Here. raccoon. No, wait, he's in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, and he's, you know, he's very smart and intelligent. He even surprises uh, Tony Stark. I like how Tony knows of Spider-Man, or at least is what he's accomplished, but he doesn't know how he got got it done. Because remember, he's asking, how do you stick to walls? Adhesive gloves? Uh, yeah, they kind of they kind of just, like, gloss over that. Yeah, no, but I like that um, because it just leaves it more open for you know his his own solo movie. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I and it's kind of great because at the same time it it, just, it doesn't make Tony Stark look like omnipotent. He's just yeah. like, hey, I noticed these security cameras. You doing all this cool stuff? Well, it's not like he's gonna be like, hey, radioactive spider fight, right? <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna be like that's that'd be kind of like like yeah, I've been there before. Yeah, got bit by a radioactive robot. <laughs> Or like, now I'm super smart. Or like the Tony Stark just reference, this is like knows all this shit, scientific shit. Like, oh, it's weird at the spider. Man, that's typical. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited for like the Spider Man solo movie. Yeah. Yeah, they. I feel like Tom Holland really nailed the Spider Man part. Yeah. I do like how they. Um, well, actually, where he was living, it looked like a, just like, like a normal apartment. Yeah, it was a so. kind of a rundown apartment. I can. Uh, it wasn't really run down. It looked kind of okay. -ish. Well, Aunt May was keeping it up. Oh yeah, by the way, Aunt May is fucking hot in this movie. Just, <laughs> she just, turned her into a, <laughs> turned into a <laughs> milf. Yeah, she's this is like a milf all of a sudden. Like, oh, she, okay. even Tony Stark is like, wow. Yeah, 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 even Tony Stark is like right there. <laughs> now he's like. Like this wonderful woman, she's so good looking. It's like I can just imagine Peter Parker is like, oh god, I don't want Tony Stark as my uncle. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> wait, 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 why don't you want Tony Stark as your uncle? <laughs> like, no, I don't want Tony Stark as his uncle either, because he's gonna die. <laughs> 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 uncle Tony, uncle, no! Tony no! <laughs> uncle Stark, <laughs> don't die on me. <laughs> yeah, and hey, they, yeah, they they got a, a pretty young looking actress for Aunt May in here. Well, <laughs> Tom Holland is really young in this. He's supposed yeah. to be like fifteen. Yeah. So it makes sense that Aunt May isn't like she doesn't look like she's uh sixty. Yeah, well, yeah, but no, I'm, I'm I'm not complaining. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> although in some iterations she's supposed to be the great aunt technically. But some just, iterations, but that's why she looks older than yeah. you know. Even though you know, Peter Parker is really young. Well, I'm glad we went for a young Aunt May as opposed to like the other. Because we've had two old Aunt Mays. Yeah. And while they were great, and you know, I just like I want. Um, I love the energetic Aunt May they yeah. have sometimes in yeah. some of the comic books and animated yeah. series. Yeah. And I feel like this was this is the Aunt May they're going for. Like she's 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 young. She's still energetic. She has a she goes out. You know, has fun with the, maybe some friends. Uh, maybe say involves herself in some activities. That's great. Yeah, I'm okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, but uh, let's see. I do like a lot of the relationships have been loved between the Avengers. Like they're friends, but when it gets down to like political views and everything, it's like it can really tear you apart. It's gonna be it's gonna be awkward after this movie when they gotta like all the Avengers act. assemble <laughs> and then everyone just slowly walking together. It's just like, hey man, how do you how you doing? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm fine. Especially for like Cap and Tony, it's, it's, like, like, it's gonna be so, really awkward. Uh, who are we fighting this time? Oh, um, I think some purple guy like oh. oh so how you been huh i'm good i'm you know? good yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then spider-man comes in and says like hey guys oh god this kid again <laughs> oh god this kid i like again. how i like how spider-man was actually annoying yeah. to a lot of the other heroes well, spider -Man, he talking talking well, spider-man is annoying to like most people most other people in the marvel universe because he doesn't shut the, the fuck up that's the point <laughs> that's the point i love but i love the fact that spider-man keeps talking like you have a metal arm that is so cool <laughs> Well, yeah, this is like his first time meeting like all these other uh, superpower beings yeah. or other like you know. Well, Spider Man's like well, uh, him and Scarlet Witch and Vision are like the only ones with actual 
power superpowers in this movie. That's well. Yeah, yeah, they are. I didn't really think about that because Iron Man is of uh, is uh, technology. Yeah, that's, that's technology. I'm Everyone watching. else is just skilled and like knows how to fight. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Ant Man is technically a. No, he's using the power of his suit. Yeah, that's tec- He's technically using the power of the suit. That's true. So yeah, technically, Scarlet Witch, Spider Man, and Vision all have superpowers. Yeah, that's true. And I did like how Su- Spider Man was actually, you know, able to actually put up a good fight against these veterans. Yeah, and he's only been doing this freaking thing for like six months. Yeah, it really uh, gives credit to his powers, Spider Sense, his agility, his super strength. But you know, I, I understand why he lost. You know, kind of, you know, just not quickly, but he was still kind of outclassed. He's only been there this for six months. He hasn't really been fighting. Which he hasn't even really fought a villain. Which yet. makes me excited for whenever he's like more experienced and. Oh yeah, because in the comic book universe, he's overpowered as hell. Yeah. He took he took down uh, Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk. Yeah. You know he pretty much beat everyone at least at one point. Yeah, he almost took down Captain America in this movie. Like. Yeah, he put up a damn good fight against Captain America. I like how he says like like. Uh, uh, Mr. Stark also told me to go after your legs. Yeah, after your legs. Because Captain America does not skip leg day. He uh-huh. likes kicking everything. <laughs> Honestly, I yeah. He kicks cars. He kicks people. He drop kicks people. He also steals cars, by the way. He also <laughs> steals cars. I like how they did this. Like, I'm going to steal your car. I'm a true American hero. <laughs> yeah, I can't help but feel like every time he takes a car, it's just a reference to that goddamn 90s movie. <laughs> I, think this, I think the fact that he stole... Because he was keeping up with Black Panther yeah. and uh, Bucky pretty well. Yeah. There was no reason for him to steal a car but he did it anyway I'm guessing they did it because like hey guys remember 1990 great get, time great right? time yeah, <laughs> let's see him steal a car again <laughs> yeah because it's the very Ted in America the true American hero yeah oh yeah, but Spider- was... yeah Spider-Man was putting up a good fight Ant-Man was really was pretty oh, good oh I too. love Ant-Man in this yeah. Uh, I did like how when they recruited him, he's like, you know, if you come with us, you're going to be treated as a criminal. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's something new. Yeah. Uh, I kind of would have liked to see a bit more how they approached him, but uh, I guess that's something that they could just gloss over and, like, you know. Oh, actually, no. Rem- kinda just remember bro- uh, they, they, the end they, of Ant-Man? Yeah. They said, like, hey, there's this guy who's looking oh, right, for you. right, 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 right. I think that was the lead into Civil War. Oh, so how yeah, he yeah. got recruited. Okay, yeah, that you know, makes Falcon, sense. Falcon, Falcon, when he was asking for the for to to locate Ant Man, oh, at that. that point he was already considered a okay, criminal. Okay, okay. So at least that's how I see it. Okay, so then yeah, that all they all they would really need to cover then is Spider Man's involvement in this. And, and they thing. pretty covered that there. Yeah. Although I will say you can tell where Spider Man's scenes mm-hmm. began and where it ended. Yep. Like where the reshoots began. Yeah. You know, for because. The fact that Spider-Man came into the universe was a surprise for everyone, even probably even Marvel. Yeah. They they went in to talk to Sony. They they expected to come out like disappointed, but they came out. They're just like, you know what? Well, did you we do just it. get Spider-Man for the Marvel Cinematic Universe? I think we fucking did. Reshoots, oh, reshoots, <laughs> quick! <laughs> and Richard Brothers is just like, what? <laughs> no! It's like, oh, you just see like Spider-Man being thrown at them. Like, no! <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> but hey, they. It's, uh, it felt natural. Yeah. Russo right. Brothers did a damn good job in yeah. the reshoots, too. See, this is what I like about Civil War. They added, they put in a lot of characters, but they all had but reasons But none of them to be really there. felt, like, forced in. They yeah. all had decent reasons to be there, to be involved. Yeah. And have a lot of motivation. And here, it almost, okay, with, Bla- with Black Panther, his dad was killed by Bucky. His dad was killed. At least that's what it looked like to him. And so, you know, of course, he's like, I'm going to kill this guy. He killed my dad. Fuck it. I revenge and all yeah. that. Going all gladiator style on you. Um, everyone else, of course, you know. Pre established. The emotional already. tension because, you know, well, who's right? The government should we yeah. work for them? Free will. You know, um, Ant Man is just like. Well, Ant Man was brought in to just. Well, because they just needed another guy to, like. Yeah, he did, did, but what was his, like, motive? I guess, like, he thought it would be kind of cool. Oh well, yeah, because he was kind of pseudo recruited. Because well, I mean, like you said before, he he heard like that Falcon was um, looking yeah. for him, and then I guess they found him, and then it's like okay. I guess because it almost seemed like he was a fanboy of Captain America. He kind of was a fanboy of like a lot of maybe it's just a fanboy of the Avengers. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, Black Panther came in because of revenge. Yeah. But Ant Man came in because he's a fanboy of Captain America. Huh. 
Peter Parker came in because he was a fanboy of Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I, you can say Ant Man and Spider Man are fanboys. Are representations of us, the fanboys, <laughs> no, the fans of the audience. Yeah. It's like, yeah. like for the okay, Spider Man is the Team Iron Man people. Yeah. While Ant Man was the Team Captain America people. Exactly. And that was genius because, no wonder I was laughing so much at both Ant Man and Spider Man right. scenes. Because they were us. Yeah. It's like... Because, Here's a shield cap. <laughs> spoiler. Big spoiler. Big, big spoiler. Ant-Man turns into Giant, giant Man. man. And, and the minute he turned into Giant Man, he had the same reaction as we all did. Oh, my, like, oh my God! Yes! yes. <laughs> that reaction to him being big was so hilarious because that was my reaction. Was, like, oh, my God! Exactly. When as soon as I heard, I, did, I didn't think they were gonna do it either. I, I yeah, thought, I was a surprise. To, but then I heard like, I need a big distraction. It's like I got you, Cap. It's like, wait a minute, big, they're not big distraction. Do it. They're not gonna do no. it. No, <laughs> they're not. Gonna like do then it. these mentions like, I practiced this in my lab. I lost consciousness though. Oh my god, they are. <laughs> I guess he was. I guess he was practicing with Hank Pym. Then. Yeah, because remember he did manage to do that uh, thing. He was able to, from like. Wait, it gets uh, so super microscopic and shit. Super microscopic and then turn big again? Yeah. He probably thought, was like, we can, can we do this to make me bigger, bigger? Hank was like, no, you're stupid. We can't do that. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it was great. Um, but actually, there was a lot of drama in this, too. Because near the end, you know, I was feeling, like, torn up. It's like, yeah. this, is harsh, this is hard to see. To see these two great friends, old friends, kind of fight each other to the... Almost, it looked like they were to the death. Yeah, the, yeah, straight um, up, they almost looked like they were going to really kill each other. All right, which so, is granted, this is that's just kind of what how it was it went down in the comics, but yeah. and that one, I, Captain America actually died. Thank God, it didn't happen here. But yeah, because he needs to do it. He's, there's a lot more movies for that need him and around. You can't have an Infinity War movie without Captain America. Yeah, and it'd be kind of bullshit just to kind of bring him back with science. <laughs> You know, like they did in the comics, I think. Yeah, they did the, the, that with science. Yeah, it would be uh, kind of like, eh. Also, you can you can probably tell that Russo brothers were maybe thinking of killing because at some point I'm thinking, like, are they really going to go kill uh, kill <laughs> Captain America? Right, right. But the Russo brothers probably thought, like, like um, you know, Doomsday, they're going to kill Superman. We don't want to kill Captain America because they'll they think we're copying them. Yeah, think we're Let's copying not kill them. Captain America. <laughs> no, but okay, um... The reason, like the reason they were fighting near the end, it had nothing to do with the accords, nothing to do with government, nothing to do with free will. It was beautifully done. Yeah. Well, the great twist that it was uh, Zoom. Zemo. 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 In this, he's not a Baron. He's a former ex uh, soldier uh, whose family was killed in Sokovia mm -hmm. in Age of Ultron, and he was able to. Use his, any connection he had and his intelligence to manipulate the background to make ever, the Avengers fight each other. Mm -hmm. And he did it so perfectly, even I didn't see it coming. Yeah. At first I'm thinking, okay, so this guy wants a, a team of super soldiers because there are other super soldiers alongside, you know, Bucky. Yeah. Or winter soldiers, if you want to call them that. There were like five other winter soldiers that were... Yeah. And for the most of the part, the entire movie was making you believe, oh, he's got to use these soldiers to like... Yeah, because they're, they're building these guys up so much. Yeah. They're like, like these guys together can take down an entire country or nation yeah. in a day. But in my mind, I was like thinking, would this really be a threat to like... The like Avengers. the Avengers? Yeah. You know, if they were actually were... You know, but then again, they were fighting at the time. I know, but still, like, if they... If they, if they snapped out of it, I guess, but... Yeah. Yeah, but, like... But then we get to that point. It's like, no, they're... He killed them. He killed the, those Winter Soldiers. Yeah. Then he's like, wait, so... Wait, so what's your fucking what's his, plan, then? What's his plan, then? And this is like... Everything was to get you two to kill each other. And then they play the video... And then he plays the video, like... That shows happened. that Bucky was the one that killed... Uh, Tony Stark's parents and how he killed them. Granted, not by his own will, but still. Yeah, he was still under Hydra influence, but yeah, you know, that that didn't matter to Tony Stark. Yeah. In fact, would you say it wouldn't matter to you if you just found out at that very moment this guy right in front of you was the one that killed your parents? No, I'd probably kill that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's just that's just which being is honest. great because <laughs> there was no logic or reason to this. It was all emotion. I mean, yeah. It, Cap even downright states that this isn't going to solve anything. And Tony's like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't <laughs> care. Like, this I, this guy, you know, beat my dad's skull in and choked Killed, my mom. Yeah. 
Even if it wasn't him, it was his hands. hands. It was his hands. He and, still did it. And I saw. I'm just gonna kill him. Yeah. It might make me feel better. Make me feel worse. I don't I know. Kill, yeah. It was all emotion. He was just filled with so much anger, and he didn't know what to do else to yeah. do. That was such a great plot twist, considering it was only referenced slightly in Winter Soldier. Bec- that cap that Bucky had something to do with their deaths. Yeah, it was like uh, we had a Ryan had to remind us because. Well, we should have watched Winter Soldier before watching this. Well, I already saw it like a couple of times, but I didn't think I needed a refresher because I apparently we did because it was mentioned. Orion told us. It was so here's the Marvel movies. There's like a little plot details that like, even if I watch it multiple times, I'll probably still not know it before I go see the newest one. Yeah, but that's great. You know, the fact that like they give you it gives these movies to go re- watch back. Yeah, re- rewatchability. rewatchability. Yeah, kind of like how uh, games have replayability. Movies have rewatchability. I love when they do that. You know, because it's not, it's great to have a movie have rewatchability. But yeah, you know? it, de- it depends on what kind of rewatchability. This makes this this rewatchability makes me want to watch it because I I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed the film. And I, I like wanna... the little Easter eggs that yeah. connect the future movies. Yeah. I don't want to rewatch a movie just to understand one simple plot. Yes. Um, but like I said, like the twist was so great. I didn't see it coming, and when it happened, I was just like, "Wow!" That was a great. And that was a great twist. The entire fight from then on was just so emotionally charged. I was just like. Wow, I do not want these guys fighting. Yeah, I did love I did love that scene where where Captain America and I Oh my fighting. god, that was so perfect. The the iconic comic book cover scene Yay. for Civil War. They slow motioned it just to give us this like look at it guys, look at it in all its glory. Granted, that scene was missing all, right. all the Avengers dead bodies. You're Iron Man, I'm Captain America. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh great. Uh, Come on. Yeah. This is uh, this, <laughs> this is, is so awesome. Uh, this is our dramatic reenactment of what happened. Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> of what happened. You know, the effects were so cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually see the beams coming from you know, the you could, you could add effects in here and make it actually happen. For this? Yeah. For that <laughs> one part. <laughs> for that own part. Like, the only effect to just surprise <laughs> everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say the only thing they missed from that scene was um, everyone's bodies just, like, hanging, <laughs> just sitting around. Yeah, all the bodies, like, a <laughs> pile of bodies. Like, yeah. You know, I, I guess, like, yeah, they could have just, like, for some reason, everyone just there for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. Um, but, yeah, like, like I said, like, the only disadvantages, I suppose, about this movie is the fact that I can tell the scenes that That's were reshoots sp- for Spider-Man. Other than that, like, um, like I said, okay, I, 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 I just might have complained the text. This is just the text. Like, oh, the giant text saying like, where we are right now? What time, what year is it? <laughs> like, I guess that's kind of, uh, distracting. Well, I think it was more so the font and like how big the, how big it is. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like huge. Boom. It's like, boom. Guys, where are we right now? Moscow! I guess the fact that it's also like Comic Sans. Well, it's like Comic Sans. It's like a generic like um, font. Just white font. Like yeah. anyone can have just gone into editing into the Dolby yeah, I Premier. could go. I could go into After Effects <laughs> right <laughs> then <laughs> and just like... Not even After Effects. Just, yeah, like just go into like... Just freaking, go into Premiere Pro yeah. when you're editing this thing. Just like boom, 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 boom. 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 Done. Done. Right there. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. But uh, that's, just a, that's a super just minor complaint. Um... But like I said, like you, it's clear to see where the reshoots were for Spider Man. The the text that was just popped up out of nowhere. Um, um, I like the outfit. Like the outfit works for me. What, what outfits? Like just in general, the just, design. Just, just the general, the design of the outfit. Yeah, all the all the the actors in this were perfect. You know, they but they've had a lot of years of practice. Um, well, except for let's see, Black Panther was great. I loved him. His accent was perfect. I almost saw exactly Black Panther in him. He's the king of Wakanda. Wakanda! Wakanda! <laughs> Wakanda! Wakanda gonna kick your ass! Okay, uh, I guess we brought up the... Well, okay, but there's like... But just to tell everyone, of course, the, since being a Marvel movie, there's gonna be two endings. There are, there are two cutscenes. One of them was what happened. Okay, the fight between Captain America and Iron Man ends with technically Captain America winning. Technically. Because throughout the fight, Bucky loses his arm, yeah. his iconic metal arm. Yeah. And after that, it's just, it's just left to Captain America and Iron Man. And Captain America just goes balls and just just starts slamming yeah. on Iron Man. And eventually, it like, kind of breaks his uh, power core of the yeah. suit, you know, making it hard for him to move or yeah. do anything anymore. Yeah. And he just says, like, I'm, you know, when, you know, like, uh, I'm sorry, Tony, you know, I 
can't stay here if you're going to keep fighting me like this. Yeah. So he leaves. And it's kind of sad to see, you know, to hear Tony just like, you know, that shield doesn't belong to you. My dad made it. Yeah. And Captain America just drops it on the ground and just leaves. And just leaves. And then when I saw that, I'm just like, this hurts. Yeah, this this is... This, these are two guys I really liked in their movies. And not to see them fight like this and just leave off like that. This is going to be really awkward to reference in later movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not bring it up. <laughs> yeah, let's not bring it up. Like I said, like, they, get, they, get, they have to get togethers again and party. Mm-hmm. Just like, hey, remember when Bucky killed your parents? And we yeah, fought yeah, over that. Yeah, I remember Wasn't literally like time, Tony. Yeah, you, remember Tony's... The, you remember literally like last movie in Age of Ultron when they were all partying in like the freaking Avengers Tower, and then <laughs> they're to party again now. <laughs> <laughs> Good times, right, Tony? Good times, and Tony right? just give him the death stares. Like, mm. don't bring that up, bring or Steve. That up. Come on, Steve. You're better than that. At the end of this movie, um, uh, we, we 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 glossed over it, but most of the Avengers were like. Captured. Well, who, well the team, ca- was, team, team Captain team, America team, was captured team cap. and put in prison. That, 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 that kind of made me really sad when I saw like Black Widow with the whole like chain. No, no, no. That was. Uh, I mean, uh, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch had this like collar on her, and yeah. she was like, like an insane asylum kind of tied that, up. That made to me prevent her that powers. Made me, that made me sad. Like, yeah, she looked really depressed. Like she looked. She looked like she did when she was um, being experimented upon by Hydra. Yeah, it's like she pale skin. You know, kind of messy hair. That's messed up because I like I like Scarlet Witch. In this you know, movie. while the others, Hawkeye, yeah. Ant Man, and uh, Falcon were just there. Yeah, they were just kind of there. They were just there in the prisons, like yeah. without their outfits. Like, there's not really much they can do. So, yeah. So they're just standing there, just like they're regular guys now. Well, well Hawkeye could probably think of a way out of here. Well, it almost looked like Ant Man for a second there. He looked like he had a plan to get out. Yeah. Because he was just looking at the guard, just like. Is he gone? All right, I'm gonna get back to work. Well, he is like he had that uh, look. In his he's face. a he's a he was a thief, and he, you know he could he he he, he, he with he, enough time and preparation, enough, yeah. he could probably escape any prison. Probably, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe he managed to hide some of those little shrinking things. Yeah, that might have been possible. Because I don't know, can those things shrink too? Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe he hit some of them on him. Well, anyway, at the end, Captain America breaks him out. Yeah, he does so. break him out. Uh, he they end up going to Wakanda, Wakanda. because. At the at that point, Black Panther realizes Bucky was framed. Yeah. It was not Bucky that killed his dad, and he even and like he, he confronts uh, Baron Zemo or just yeah, Zemo. Just Zemo. He confronts Zemo. It's just like you were you were consumed by revenge. They're consumed by revenge. You know what he's talking about? Captain America and no, Iron Man fighting. By revenge. And like, but I will not let myself be consumed by revenge anymore. Hey, he's a very he's a very good guy. He's yeah he's noble, but he at the same time you can tell he's still young. Yeah, because he allowed himself to be fall into you know revenge. Yeah, you know, and I like that. Like, uh, it was great character for Black Panther. So they end up you know going to Wakanda and pretty much being protected by Wakanda. T'Challa. T'Challa, yeah. And then it's like if you know if those you know 117 was 117 117 117 117 countries go- countries or governments find out that you're holding Bucky here, they'll come for you. And when T'Challa is like, try. let them try. <laughs> and they just, just see a giant ass Black, Black Panther. I would have liked to have seen more, more of Wakanda. Wakanda. Yeah. Wakanda's like, let them try. But maybe this, this is, is like, Wakanda. This is, uh, this is a bit of a teaser for like more of Wakanda in the future. I hope so for a Black Panther movie. Well, yeah. they are coming with Black Panther movie. Are they? Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. That's been announced. Okay, I- I'm excited. They they pushed it back though to make room for the Spider Man movie. Oh yeah. So which is the next cutscene, which uh, involves Peter back at home after the fight with the airport. You know, and he's just like uh, he's, he's with playing, Ant-Man. He's, he's playing around with the spider signal. <laughs> he's, he's playing around with the the spider web that that uh, Tony Stark helped him create now. Yeah. And then he just there's a light now. Like, what's this light? <laughs> it's the spider signal. Just like wow. Da, da, so, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and of course, they got to say Spider-Man will return because they, they think the audience doesn't know that Spider-Man is not. Well, cool. to be fair, a lot of the audience in that theater were. Uh, so they were excited when they that they font came up. Yeah. Spider-Man will return. <gasps> it could be said like they didn't, they're not as in tune with the news yeah. in terms of comic books as we are. But I already knew like Homecoming, that's going to be a great movie. That's going to be a good movie. I feel like it's going to be a good. It looks like it's going to focus more on the fact that he's a teenager in high school. Yeah. Which I always liked cuz this Tom Holland, I can watch a whole movie about him being awkward in high school. Yeah. You know, I I forgot. I'll get just as much enjoyment as as you know, when he's Peter Parker yeah. as I did with Peter with uh, yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, 
I feel like Shocker would be a good villain to start with for him. Because yeah. he's just like... Shocker starts off as a generic bank robber in both the comic books and any anime series. I think we discussed this earlier. We, if we, if, if uh, the movie, villains we would like to see in this movie would be Rhino. Rhino, because, Vulture. Because Rhino didn't really have anything to do in yeah. Spider-Man 2. I think it was Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. He, he was okay, but he didn't have, they, they didn't give him much to do. Yeah, I was sad. When I heard Paul Giamatti as Rhino, I was like, okay, that can be fun. But he was in there for like, what, two minutes, yeah. three minutes? Shocker, Ops. shocker, because like he's just an generic back there. It's, it's a nice starting point. Shocker is a good starting point for Spider-Man because Shocker is a great starting villain. And I brought this up earlier, uh, but Craven. <laughs> Craven, that one made sense because... Uh, they say Spider-Man's been around for six months. Yeah. And the news probably has some footage of him somewhere. So Craven probably yeah, saw so this. Yeah, Tony Stark got the footage. Yeah, Tony Stark was able to get footage of it yeah, too. Yeah. So maybe Craven found those like the Spider-Man. No. You know, the next big hunt. Ah. Oh. That'd probably be cool. Yeah, that's, I, I can see it going in that direction. And with, you know, the, the title of the movie is called Homecoming. Yeah. So it has to revolve around Homecoming, yeah. a big deal in high school. Yeah. So maybe Craven hunts him and it just kind of ruins his whole home com- Homecoming plans. Yeah. And he's just like, God damn it, I'm just trying to enjoy Homecoming and you're yeah. ruining it. Yeah, exactly. It'd be, it'd be kind of cool, yeah. you know? But I, I, I like, like I said, because of the title, I feel like it should focus on the fact that he's a teenager in high school. Yeah. Like, it'd be cool to see Spider-Man fighting Craven or Shocker or whatever. But I feel like just to get to know this Peter Parker, yeah. focus on his days in high school. Yeah. If they do do a spot, if they do it in homecoming, I hope he doesn't like meet. Uh, well, he has to meet like either Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane. It's got to be one or the other. So I think we're going to see another Gwen Stacy again. Yeah, which is sad because the Gwen Stacy we had before was Emma, Emma Stone was good. Emma Stone was great as Gwen Stacy. I liked her. I don't think they should have killed her in, in Amazing Spider Man Two, but I guess it, is it was too soon. Her. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I feel I like guess, that was like a third movie kind of thing. Yeah, I, I guess it doesn't matter anymore because you know reboot. Yeah, <laughs> reboot. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's guys. Okay, okay, guys. We have a reboot. Yeah, but it's not gonna go off, uh, into his origin like all the other movies. Yeah. We already know that now. <laughs> Hopefully, God, we don't need to see another origin movie after we just had... Maybe it'll be like uh, the origin story for Batman and Batman vs. Superman. Like, real quick. They just gloss over it. Like, they show scenes of where he got bit, Ben, uh, Uncle Ben dying, and him trying to, you know, be responsible with his great power. As long as they like, don't, like, spend, like, an entire couple of... Like, couple 20, 30 of, minutes? Yeah, because even, yeah. even in BVS, they, folk, they had that f- scene for, like... A good, I want to say, 10, 15 minutes. It looked like 10 minutes, yeah. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. But, you know, it, it might be good just to, like, quickly, you know, recap that. Yeah. You know, like, I think it can be done with yeah. proper editing. Okay, to get into the characters of this movie, um, all the, all the characters, like I said, were done really well. I like the new characters. Tom Holland was a great Spider-Man. I do like the relationships between the characters here, too. Like, uh, Black Widow's concerned for Cap because, you know, she's a good friend. And yeah, but she at the same time she she's the same time, she just can't let him get away with she's any of this. She's tired of kind of being this double spy, so that's why she joins. Yeah, you know Iron Man, but yeah. then she just falls back into the being spy. She she ran away and escaped, man. She managed yeah. to escape. Even though she, yeah, she actually managed. She betrayed to team uh, team Iron team Man. Team Iron Man, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, I got damn it, Black Widow. I also like a, a bit of the. I guess sort of romantic moments they kind of put into this movie. There were like two romantic moments that, like, that, that, you, they, that yeah. you can probably bring up. Uh, one of them with Captain America and um, Sher- I believe her name is Sharon Carter. Sharon Carter, who was actually a, a niece of um, the grand niece of uh, Peggy uh, Carter, uh, who, who was the love interest in the first movie. Which makes sense because in the comic books they do get they together. do get I, together. I, 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 yeah, in some, do, some some way, way. yeah. Uh, but also, but I, I still find it weird. It's like you know, I used to. Yeah, and now I'm dating you. <laughs> this is so hot. <laughs> Family time. <laughs> well, I guess it is kind of. Well, to be awful. fair, he never actually you know did anything. Like, did it? They never even went on a date once. They never went on a fucking date, so it's okay. Yeah, so it's fine. Like, I was hot for your great aunt, yeah. but I never did anything. So we're we're, we're so cool. <laughs> we're, we're cool, right? <laughs> never touched your great aunt. Never did. Yep. I'm yeah, touching you now. They actually, <laughs> just reference it right in this movie because I didn't know like. She was actually, thrill- uh, well, maybe again, maybe I need, again, I need to watch Winter Soldier again because she was in that too. Yeah. Uh, wait. Pe- oh, you mean uh, Sharon? Carter? Yeah. Well, Peggy yeah. was also in it, but she was like. Yeah, Peggy dope. Carter. Uh, surprisingly, even though I didn't see much of her, and then, and now I haven't watched the show yet. Agent Carter. Agent- I'm, I want to go. I want to watch it. 
But even then, I still felt sad that she died. Yeah, I feel... Because she was just a huge part of yeah. Captain America's life. Yeah. And uh, he was the reason he had hoped that yeah. you know, he can make it, make it back yeah. into the world. Uh, speaking of the relationship between Captain America and Sharon Carter in this one, um, I did like it when they did when they kissed for a few minutes, and then like it's like Bucky <laughs> and Falcon oh, yeah. in the background. Yeah, because okay, this yeah. is after they escaped the facility. Yeah. That's like the second time from the government. Yeah, and they had to get their stuff back. And Sharon Carter works for the CIA. Yeah, she. So got she was managed. To, she managed to get her shield and Falcon's and you know flying back. machine back, and, and that's where they kiss. And Falcon and, uh, and Falcon and, just, and, and, and Bucky, Bucky are like in the back. back. Like they're they're, 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 they're like back a... in the car, and they're after the kiss. They're just looking at Captain America like. like <laughs> it's, like, it's like when your homies approve of it that you finally made out with the with the girl. Yes, your your bros support this. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's what I that's what I that's what I thought. Like, oh my god, like, I know. bros support this. But that that also you know it it, it showed like. Even though Falcon's that relatively new, he fit yeah. into the dynamic of these two characters. Yeah. Like, he can be like a great friend to Bucky too. Yeah. It's like, hey, move your seat. No. And so he just moves over. <laughs> oh fuck you. Also too. When oh yeah. Also when they're fighting Spider Man, with it's like you you couldn't have, and then Spider Spider Man. Spider Man's Spider-Man. calling on the windows. Yeah. And, and it's then, like what is, what is this? Like everyone has a gimmick now. <laughs> it's like, first Falcon yeah. and then Ant Man <laughs> now Spider Man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I also like that scene where he sends his where they were like pinned down by his web and then he sends a little bird after him and then it's like he, and then Bucky's like you know you couldn't have done that earlier. It's like no. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> it's just it's it's such great uh, banter between yeah. all the characters, great comedy. Yeah. But you know, but like I said, there's great drama, especially near yeah. the end. Also, there was um, and the, talk about the shipping thing again, um, the character shipping. Um, there was Vision and also Scarlet Witch in this movie. Yeah, there are hints of that, but I don't think it's there yet. Not yet. But it's because uh, you mentioned that in the comics they do date and they also they get romantically a, involved. They also have a child. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> That feels like spoilers for uh, for Infinite Infinity War. <laughs> I don't know why. Infinity just, War. That just sounds like spoilers to me. Well, but well, I don't think it's until like much later. So, no, but, but like like yeah, I mean, I can see that there's something that like, a connection between these two, but not romantic yet. Yeah, it's... it seems more like because here's the Vision is still trying to get used to this whole being human thing. Yeah. You know, Scarlet Witch is trying to get over the whole you know she used to be a monster kind of thing. She, she killed to, people. Yeah. You know, so it's too soon to put them in a romance, you know, but I can see like they have a kinship because they have these weird powers or they're kind of out of the norm compared to the rest of the team. They're the only ones with actual powers. Yeah. If so like, I can feel like, look, I'm tr I'm still trying, uh, Vision even, uh, they have a nice moment where Vision says like, I'm still trying to understand this Mind Stone thing. Yeah. It's so fucking weird, uh, but you know, and then she also is trying to understand her powers at the same time, trying Wait. to control them. Yeah. Uh, I will say Hawkeye, I love him in this too. Yeah, Hawkeye. You know, he still uh, feels like he's the father character. Yeah. Which makes sense because he's the family man. Because he's the family man. But I like how he just comes in just, just trying to save uh, Scarlet Witch. Yep. You know, from, you know, from Vision, <laughs> which is weird. But he's like, uh, I'm, reti I'm retired for five minutes and the whole team just falls apart. Yeah. I'm just like, yes, Hawkeye, you come back. You're the glue. You're the glue for the team. You keep everyone grounded. Yeah, I think even they mentioned in Age of Ultron too. Like, like he's like the guy he has to watch over them because he's a because he's like the straight man or something. Yeah, he, I feel like I gotta watch over you guys because without me, you just gotta fall to hell. Yeah, you, you guys need me. <laughs> yeah, but like, like you know, just it was a great movie all around. You know, the comedy that was supposed to be funny hit home. It, it was funny. Yeah, when it was dramatic, oh my god, it was dramatic. Like I said. Captain America versus Iron Man near the end. I was like I was sad a, to see this. Yeah, I did not want to see them fight. Cause here's the thing: throughout the whole movie, when they get to the airport scene, and they finally they get to fight. Yeah. But then when they get to the near the end, it's like, don't fight, don't fight, please don't fight. Yeah, it's it almost looked like Tony was actually gonna help him in the end, but then like that whole scene happened, and yeah, then Bucky like, killing. No, start the start. Which I knew it wasn't gonna last because, like, yeah, they, they, this can't happen because there there are more scenes of them yeah. fighting. I saw. Yeah. I'm like, why are they fighting again? But when I saw them, when I saw Bucky kill, you know, the Starks very brutally too. Yeah, I was just like, oh, oh my god, shit. here we go. <laughs> and you know, like I said, it was gut wrenching too. Yeah. Um, you know, and it was so ingenious. There's no real villain in this. I mean, you can say Zemo is the villain. 
but he's just some poor guy who got cut. His family just got killed in Zakovia. And he was so angry that he just put every bit of resources yeah, he like had we left said, to yeah, like we said before, tearing those vendors like apart from the yeah, inside. Not, like we said before, it's not like him blame Ultron. It was, it was yeah, it was just dead. it was just all emotional. Yeah, all emotions just going out of control. Just like revenge for revenge, revenge and revenge and revenge. Yeah, yeah. like just playing out revenge, and it just led people, you know, to start hurting everyone. Yeah. And I like that. Like yeah. It was just, um, if anything, the villain in here was uh, em just emotion in general. Yeah. And the only enemy is our own emotions. <laughs> yeah, they they drive us to do some of the cruelest things. Yeah. And I really like that. There didn't need to be a villain in this. It was just... Say cool or cruel? Cruel. Oh, it's just cool. <laughs> they can make us do cruel things. <laughs> okay. But if you're looking at this movie, can you can also say cool things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for revenge, I would have never have managed to get Iron Man versus Captain America. <laughs> That's just cool. That's just cool. <laughs> but, but cruel at the same time. Yeah. It was a cruel cool. I think we make it, I think, yeah, because I know people are going to make comparisons, especially the DC and Marvel people. But, um, yeah, okay. Uh, for any comparisons out there, I, the only comparison I can see right now is the motive behind, uh, well, not really the motive, even, it's just the fact that Iron Man and Captain America are fighting. Yes, the reasons are different. But, the reason for these guys is just so much stronger because there's like a foundation they already have there's already beneath, a foundation. between their friendship. Yes, you know, and and yes, there is a, a smart guy behind everything, manipulating the scenes, making it look like one side is in the wrong, yes. and forcing them to fight. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Lex Luthor and then Zemo. Yeah, but here's the thing: Zemo, even we, the audience, did not see that coming. Yeah. We did not see him manipulating everything just to get these two to kill each other. We thought he was going to get an army of super soldiers, yeah. but he didn't. Yeah. You know, and he just wanted these two to fight each other to the death. And it's like, oh my God, this is Lex Luthor. Except this done well. <laughs> and it was just like, it was so good. And it wasn't really a thing like, uh, you guys are too powerful. You know, you need to be, you know, put in check. It was just like, you guys ended up getting my family involved. Or you didn't even save my family. Like, he even said, it's like, yeah, my, I told my, he even said, like, uh, I told my family, yeah. like, don't worry, I, the Avengers are there, mm. they'll save you. Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah. His family died. Yeah. Avengers went home yeah. and patted themselves on the back. Well, here's another thing that this movie did well that, um, BVS was trying to do the whole superheroes um, need to be put in check thing. Yeah, uh, they tried to put Superman in check, and but then this one is just like all superheroes in general. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because the thing was there. There was at least some points of view, political points of views that many people even today kind of deal with. Yeah. Freedom over security. Do you want to feel safe or do you, you want to feel, feel free? free. You yeah. can't have both. Yeah. You know, and yeah, and Captain America realizes, like, you know what? If we put ourselves in danger, but we still try to save each other, you know, that's that's something. Because he says, like, if we let every single death, you know, affect us, we're not going to be able to do our jobs better in the future. Yeah. If we let uh, the deaths of uh, people we failed before, you know, get to us, right. it's going to slow us down, and we're not going to be able to save more people in the future. There's also the thing here. This movie's... Uh it doesn't mean that Iron Man is necessarily wrong. Either. Yeah, there's no right or wrong in this in, yeah. in this debate. It was just more like a matter of opinion. Yeah. And it, because, again, Iron Man was also right. It's like, we can't just forget the people who are being killed. Yeah, obviously. You know, and we have to take responsibility. You know, and we have to put ourselves into check because clearly the government won't be able to do so. Yeah. Because we're so powerful that we can literally walk in and just take down most governments. Yeah. Rather easily. And he is pretty right in one in one line. It's like if we have no rules, no you know borders for ourselves, we can we can end up being villains as well, just as much as the guys we fight. Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, there's no right or wrong, and that's what I like about this movie. Yeah. Uh, we pretty much talked about everything. It wasn't there, isn't there? Uh, all the important stuff. I did, uh, they, I did like they mentioned Hulk and Thor. Oh yeah, that, that's they, like. <laughs> Like, this is a quick reference why they can't be in this movie. Because probably because I think maybe Thor, they can argue that Thor is probably in Ragnarok right now. Or yeah, trying, and maybe they and we, we joked about it, but maybe Hulk is like, with them. Yeah, Hulk <laughs> is, is the Ragnarok. Yeah, or no, better yet, Thor and Hulk. 
bought a uh, buddy cop movie in, in Asgard. Yeah. Fighting crime throughout the dimensions. Throughout the dimensions. <laughs> Through all the nine worlds. <laughs> Best buds. <laughs> Oh. Bro first, bro first, and Thor gets sent, fl sent flying. Okay, like in the first Avengers, <laughs> that was. Oh, uh, it was so much fun. Uh, but yeah, I mean, where is Hulk? I mean, they're not gonna. They have no plans for a solo movie, so they have to show up in someone else's movie. Yeah, so, and they, they Thor had, Ragnarok makes sense. And, and Ross is in this movie, so Incredible Hulk did happen, guys. Yeah, so Incredible Hulk is part of the Avengers universe, even though they, even though you know Mark Ruffalo for some reason looks very different. He he just has a very good cosmetic surgeon. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like yeah, I was trying to hide from the from the U.S. military, so I changed my face. <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> yeah, it's like I even like how Tony asked uh, Black Widow, like, like you think you can find Banner? Like you really think you take our side? <laughs> <laughs> Work for the government? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, he probably like <laughs> take Cap's like, side if anything. Yeah, he would take Captain America's side. What even the? which was weird because in Age of Ultron he took I uh, Iron Man's side. Yeah. In creating Vision. Yeah. Well, so, maybe, maybe that's why he's like, I've seen what I did. <laughs> hey, Tony, last time I helped you, we created uh, Ultron and then we created Vision. So I'm just going to stick with Captain America and see what happens there. Well, Vision was a good thing. Ultron was kind of like, uh. Well, Bruce Banner didn't stick around long enough to know if Vision stayed a good thing. Well, that's he left. He, he just fucking left. Uh, I didn't really mind the, the fact that they might be hinting at Black Widow in a relationship with Banner. Well, yeah. I, I didn't mind. I, I didn't mind in fact, mind I kind of wanted to see where that goes. Yeah. So maybe they'll get some of that in the future. Yeah. I'm a little sad Joss Whedon is gone, though. Hey, man, Joss Whedon had a lot to deal with. Yeah. He did a good job, though, but Russo Brothers seem to be doing a I think, damn good job, too. I think they're still getting Joss Whedon for some Marvel projects, though. But like Maybe that, some input from him? Not yeah. Maybe, maybe not actually directing? Yeah. Like maybe just they. I think he's getting. They're getting input from him for Infinity Wars and a bunch of other things. But. Maybe because that was part of the part of the plan for yeah, him. Yeah, but Russo Brothers are doing a good, damn good job so This far. is a great movie. Yeah. Um, very little I can complain about. But again, I have to see it multiple times. Yeah. To see if there are some maybe see, false We have to see this movies. movie multiple times because we like it. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to know more about we it. We want to know more about it. Both, you know, both good and bad points. Yeah. You know, like I said, not not many bad points I can see from the initial watching, but maybe we'll, I'll see more. Yeah, maybe I'll see more, but for right now is the first viewing. It's, it's a damn fun movie. First viewing at like Three in the morning or four in the morning, whatever yeah, time it, it is right yeah, now. It's, it just it sends your emotions on a fucking roller coaster. Yeah, you know, and I really love that. You know, and this is like really, you know, it's right now. It's really early in the morning, and I have a lot of energy. This yeah, movie I, gave I, me energy. Yeah, I'm not fucking tired right now. Yeah. I think by the time we I end up uh, say what say what biggest. you want for Batman for Superman. Love it, hate it. For me, that movie drained my energy. You know, it's not nothing. It had nothing to do with bad or good. It was just so long that it drained me. It's so long, and they crammed so, so much, much stuff that it drained me. This one gave me energy. Like looking at the screen, especially the fight scene at the airport. Oh my god! I was just like, I'm awake. I'm awake. Yeah, I like both these movies, but I think this movie did things. more, more in the terms of yeah. entertaining you. Yeah. You know, giving you a, a fun, but at the same time, really emotionally racking movie. Yeah. And this one yeah. this one put a bunch of characters in and made it all work together. Well, let's say Hawkeye was established. Scarlet Witch was established. Vision was, was established. You know, and pretty developed, well-developed in this movie at the same time. Yeah. The Scarlet Witch and Vision. Yeah. Uh, Black Widow, uh, Iron Man, War Machine, Captain America, uh, Bucky, Bucky, all well established already with yeah. some development. Yeah. The ones they really need to focus on though were Black Panther, Spider Man, and uh, Ant Man had, had Ant Man had a great uh, mode already. Yeah. Yeah. You know, again, the, he, but uh, yeah, and they did. So it was just mostly Black Panther and Spider Man. They need to really delve into origin. Yeah. And they did pretty well with that. They did pretty well. It makes me excited for like a Black Panther and a Spider Man movie. Oh yeah, those are planned already. They moved Black Panther back, like yeah. I said. To make room for a Spider-Man movie. There's always be curious about the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline with, with the whole Doctor Strange movie coming up pretty soon, which I think we established earlier through, because he, his name was yeah. mentioned in Winter Soldier. So Doctor Strange movie apparently, in timeline wise, happens, happens before, before Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Uh, I'm I'm theorizing it happened even before Avengers. Probably. So this is like a really early movie. This is gonna be weird, but. Who knows? Doctor For all Strange? we know, it might have even it might have even happened before Iron Man 
or like any of the possibly. other possibly but this again guys this is all speculation we yeah. don't we don't know this whole Avengers Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline right now yeah. but either way you know, we pretty much talked about everything about the movie uh, my final thoughts is good movie go see it I would watch it over and over again I would watch it a couple I actually I would probably buy this movie on Blu-ray yeah yeah yeah, there might be some special cutscenes I want yeah. to like bonus, you know, yeah. deleted scenes I want to yeah. see. Uh, but anyway, like yeah, like it was a great movie, a lot of energy, just really wakes you up. But at the same time, it really you know, really plays with your emotions and your expectations. Yeah, uh. you know, so uh, great Spider Man makes me excited for a Spider Man movie and Black Panther movie. Yeah, you know, it, it hypes you up for future movies, and that's what I feel like these movies at this point should do. Mm. They should get you excited for future Marvel projects. See, CDC, this is this is how you paint okay. that future project. Let's stop bashing on them. This is about civil war. Again, if, if if anyone is watching this and think I'm bashing on DC, I am a DC fan. I just I can poke fun at it because I like DC. He and, likes DC a probably a lot. His favorite superhero is Batman. My favorite superhero is Batman. But even he can, he, even he thinks like DC is kind of, you know, doesn't really know where they're going. Right? Yeah. yeah. But like I, as a DC fan, I will support like DC in the future, and, and I really hope they do well. Yeah, Suicide Squad looks pretty good. Suicide Squad is looks pretty good, and it actually, looks I, I, I am worried though they did say they're doing reshoots immediately after the reviews for Batman vs Superman came out. <sighs> yeah, that, to make it more fun. That concerned me too. That concerns me, but from what I saw so far in the original two trailers, it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, but hey, Batman gets to be in two movies in the same year. I so year. hope that's Ben Affleck. <laughs> it, it is. It is Ben Affleck. Yeah, because I, I really uh, like Ben Affleck as Batman. Yeah, Ben Affleck as Batman is one of the best <laughs> casting choices, actually. Yeah. All right, well, we've talked long enough. This is already reaching an hour. Yeah, we're reaching an hour. It's like 4 a.m., but, you know, um, this is Shadowlink793. I'm Tony Dragon. And we'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that'll be. That might be... It's said Apocalypse. is a Memorial Day, right? Yeah, so but we'll see you guys in Apocalypse. Yeah, Apocalypse. When I'm excited for Wolverine. When everything is going to go to shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's after Apocalypse? What's bigger than Apocalypse? Apocalypse. Deadpool Wolverine crossover movie. Done. With Cable. <laughs> With Cable. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, we're done. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.